Now, continuing on the security front, and there's been a lot of scrutiny recently into the vehicles used here in theatre, especially following on from the inquest of acting Corporal Marcin Vojak, who was killed when his vector vehicle struck an IED. It's been speculated that had he been in a more heavily armoured vehicle that he might have survived the blast. Well, a lot's changed since 2009, so I've been looking at how the vehicles here in Afghanistan have developed since then. I even chatted to one soldier who's tested the vehicles to their very limits. Earlier this week, Staff Sergeant John Braithwaite learned just how effective the protection on his Mastiff was when it struck an IED. The initial reaction was what's happened. Uh, a muffled bang, uh, it's gone pretty much dark, dark within the cab, uh, dust everywhere, um, and it was sort of shock, um, a mass surge of an adrenaline rush, um, and then just sort of looked around to the crew to sort of make sure that they were okay. The front rollers on the Mastiff detonated the device and took most of the blast. The Mastiff itself was left with only minor damage, leaving scorch marks and a chipped window. All of those inside the vehicle survived unharmed. Um, I was told about the vehicle. Obviously, it had all been sort of hearsay as to how good it was and how much it would protect you. But, yeah, the proof's in the pudding. I mean, um, it was to me, it was a big blast, um, and we've all come away uh, safe and well. In 2006, when British troops entered Helmand en masse, the IED threat was almost non-existent. But since the insurgents have developed the use of these deadly roadside bombs, the vehicles used in theatre have had to adapt to meet the threat. The trucks out here now, uh, they're a lot, lot safer than what we had on uh, Herrick 9, where they've got the bar armour on these. On Herrick 9, we only had a bit of ballistic matting. That was it, really. It's totally different. The last time you felt safe enough, but last time around, it's like nothing can go wrong. As long as you're strapped, then you're wearing correct PPE. Everything's OK. So gone are the Wimmick, Snatch, Vector and Viking vehicles, replaced by the family that include Jackal, Mastiff, Ridgeback and Warthog. Unfortunately, you know, a bomb's a bomb. A bigger bomb is, is going to wreck a bigger vehicle and it's a vicious cycle where we build bigger bombs, we build bigger vehicles. Um, so the reassurance I always tell the men is, you know, this genuinely, and I can speak from experience, is the best bit of kit we could possibly have right now, today. As the IED threat has evolved, so has the kit and equipment, giving troops out here in Afghanistan the confidence that if the worst should happen, that they have the right vehicles for the job. James Banks, Forces News, Camp Bastion.